Hello everybody, so in this video let's take a look how we can install a Facebook Pixel into our Shopify store which is actually really simple. Now as you can see I am starting to have my first online store so I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description if you don't have a store to Shopify you might get a few rewards and uh, up to 15 days totally free trial mode of the Shopify so you can start today with your store. So here I'm just going to tap store example 20 T3 or I don't know maybe use GI2 and go into create my store so uh, there are a few steps that you need to do before you want to create your store into Shopify but if you want to go uh, straight forward into the uh, Facebook pixel the first thing we need to do is to actually sign into our Shopify account uh, now that we just um, are in the dashboard of uh, Shopify I'm not going to be focused in here. I'm just going to go into the applications, which is actually in here. And we want to find Facebook in the Shopify App Store. So this one's going to be redirecting us into the store, the official App Store of Shopify. So once again, you want to tap here Facebook. So what we want to do is to add the Facebook Pixel. So as you can see here, have the Facebook and Instagram. What you want to do is to focus into the application that was created by Meta. So here it is. So I just want to click into this option and I want to add the application. Now, once the application has been correctly installed, it's going to be asking you to sign into your Facebook account in order to uh, start creating the Facebook pixel. Now I need to add the sale channel into my Shopify, so I want to integrate that. I'm gonna move this in here. And after that, what we want to do is to actually sign into our Facebook and Instagram account. So the first thing that we want to do before we start here into the Facebook section, what we want to do is to import our Facebook account, our business account, into Shopify. So the first thing that you wanted to take in mind is to open a new tab and here you want to have already opened your Facebook account. You want to go into the Meta Business Suite and once you are here into your Meta account, I want to go back in here into Shopify. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down until I found the start setup. So as you can see, we have the Facebook account uh, set up your shop. So what I want to do is to connect my account. So it's going to be popping up this new notification window where what I just need to do is just to wait a few seconds until the Shopify store finds my account. So as you can see, I do have the uh, business assets here into the Meta Business account. If you don't have any Meta Business account, it's going to be asking you to create a new Facebook page. And from that Facebook page, what you can do is to have your Meta Business account. Now, it's really important to have a Meta Business account if you want to have a, a Facebook pixel, if you want to track some data about your, your clients, every, everybody who, who clicks into your store. So if you don't have that, you have to be worrying about that. What I'm going to be doing here is to go into my Meta Business or into the Creative Studio. So here I'm going to go into business uh, dot Facebook and in here what I want to do is to focus into my main account here. I'm going to just uh, close this for a second, go into my all the tools. And as you can see, we have the business feed, the account quality, business apps, the page settings, the advertise and so on and on. So what I want to be focusing on is into the events manager. But first of all, I'm going to be showing you guys to go into the settings. And once you are here into your settings, you want to go into business assets. And in here, you want to add a new asset. So in here, what you want to do is to create your first business account. So you can create your business account, link it into a Facebook page, into an Instagram account or into a WhatsApp account. And the purpose is exactly the same. It's really, really easy. And your account is going to be appearing in here. So now that we have our ad, our business account already opened, you want to reload this page so you can see that your account has been connected successfully, right? So now what I want to do is to select my store, go into connect. 
and here what you want to do if you're just starting you want to just leave it like that the enhanced option and I'm gonna go into save there it was really really simple right now in here as you can see we have the connect a pixel to track the customer behavior so as you can see i already have a few pixels already created by um by the business assets so if you don't see any pixel you don't have to be worrying about that i do have just a few pixels uh from facebook because i've managed a few shops and a few ads inside the meta business suit but if you have nothing, you're going to be seeing something like the create Facebook pixel. By creating a pixel, you agree to the terms of service. So I want to go into create new. And here it's going to be appearing a new pixel. So this pixel is going to be helping me to track the customer behavior of all the tracking stuff that I'm going to be um, having here into my, into my website. So I just need to go into confirmed. And of course, I want to agree to the Facebook seller's agreement. I want to enable this and go into the submit for review. So once I have this option already created, since it might be taking a few minutes to process the information you submitted. So if you go back into your best submitter suit, I'm going to be just reloading this page. Really simple. And what I want to do is to go into my ad account settings just to see my events manager and see if my um, if my tracking pixel my new pixel has been added successfully so if I go into the events manager what I want to do is to first open uh, using my own profile which is actually this one and what I want to do is to scroll a little bit down. I want to go into the pixel. So as you can see, here is the pixel that was created a few seconds ago. This one ends into 5486. You can see all the pixels that were created in here. So now I can go back into my Shopify store. And here it says you are ready to start selling on Facebook sales channel. So I need to hit into done. And now that we have our Facebook pixel connected, we can start to uh, customize our shop on Facebook. We can start to customize and sell your products on Instagram, and we can start running ads on Facebook and Instagram. So if I click into create an ad, it's gonna be sending me uh, into the ads manager of the business facebook.com section. So if I go into the create uh, campaign, you might see that your uh, pixel has been added successfully so that's the way that we can start working here guys into the facebook pixel if you want to track all the information is going to be available into your own meta business suit not from shopify but into the business uh into the meta business suit so hopefully guys it was a very useful video for you don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about this shopify tips and all that thank you so much for watching this video good luck with this store of yours and i'll see you in the next one